This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch. Chuck Rather from Butterscotch.com here at CS 2011. We've heard a lot about solid state drives and what they do for your computer in terms of battery life and even performance. And Grant here from Otherworld Computing is actually going to give us a very solid uh, use case here and, and show us just how much faster. Oh, it's incredible. You know, we've got a, what we call a shootout here. We've got a 2009 MacBook Air side by side. The one on here is a 1.8 gig with 2 gig of RAM, but it has our first on the market Sandforce based processor SSD, uh, OWC Aura Pro, and on next to it, its competitor, a faster machine by about 400 megs, a 2.13 processor based MacBook Air with the original factory hard drive. And we're going to show you just how much faster an SSD will boot the OS and load four apps within Creative Suite 5. And to give the faster machine a little unfair advantage, we'll start it first. But that doesn't seem fair at all. Well, that's the difference that an SSD makes, Sean. So we're going to start that up now, and it's going to start to try and load the OS as well as the four apps within Creative Suite 5. And then, well, yeah, okay, okay. that's enough of an advantage. Now right. we'll start the slower machine, technically, but it has our SSD in it. You know, this is the only thing that's been changed in here, is the, uh, the old drive has been swapped out for an Correct. SSD. Correct. The old drive has been swapped out for one of our OWC SSDs. We're the first on the market with a Sandforce processor-based SSD for these 2008-2009 MacBook Airs. Now, this is a project that uh, you can do yourself as a user at home, I Absolutely. Assuming. Absolutely. It's plug and play. You just take the old drive out reformat the uh, new drive and put it in and experience the performance difference. Yeah, and that's worth mentioning. That's and as you can see, up. the OS is actually up, yeah. the apps are loading, and we're still, as I think that movie Night at the Museum went, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. so and that, that unfair advantage, it wasn't so unfair after <laughs> all, it looks like. Yeah, so I guess it's uh, worth mentioning that uh, you know there's some uh, upgrades that you can do at home, some that you can't. This one is a fairly easy upgrade. It is, and you know one of the hallmarks of OWC that we're known for is we create full help, uh, helpful videos. They're free. They're right on our site. Shows you how to do it step by step. We're in the process of introducing those videos because we've been busy working on the SSDs to bring them here to CES. And you know the one thing I'd like to tell the audience is, is that you, know, you think about SSDs as a performance upgrade. It's not so much the capacity because yeah. a lot of people look at it and say 40 gig, 120, right. what am I going to store on that? But look at the performance difference it makes in your machine. And with our SSD in this 2009 MacBook Air, it's faster than a brand new 2010 MacBook Air from the factory. So you can make your older machine faster than new with OWC. Okay, here's the question then. Can you make your newer machine even faster? Absolutely. We also introduced first here at CES a 2010 model that gives you 22% faster performance on the 2010 model than the factory SSD, as well as three times the capacity. So besides performance, OWC is also about giving you more options for your Mac and PC. Yeah, so the, the, the old ones, they, they had a more traditional drive-like form factor. I know the, one of the ways they got the new ones a bit smaller was by getting rid of the casing on the outside of the SSD. Correct. And, and, and I thought it was like bolted right into the board, so not, no user accessible parts. But that's not true. That's not true. And in fact, you can see the 2010 model that I have right here. This is our OWC Mercury Aura Pro for the 2010 Mac, MacBook Air. And it simply looks like a memory module. It doesn't need the casing. It just fits right onto the board. So, yeah. so how much will it cost us to upgrade either the older Macs or the newer ones? Well, the uh, Mercury Aura Pro Express starts at $499 for a 180 gig drive. And the 2008-2009 um, models begin at 120 gig for $299. There you go. So it will cost you a little bit more than an old school mechanical drive, but look at the performance advantage. The performance, the reliability, as well as now you can take your 2009 and make it faster than new for a fraction of the cost, as well as your 2010, instead of doing the upgrade at the factory, do it with OWC and get more capacity and more performance. Okay, so where can people go to uh, get information on these and uh, order their own? Oh, that's a great question. It's www.maxsales.com. Great, and you can get that link and all the other information on these over at our show notes on our site at butterscotch.com. Thanks so much, Grant. Thank you, Sean.
This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch.